Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adarsh Shari and this time we are doing FC Goa squad analysis. So without wasting any more time, let's get on to the video. This video is divided into five segments. Number 1, foreign players. Number 2, Indian players to watch out for. Number 3, strengths. Number 4, weaknesses and last possible playing 11. Now, let's start by looking at the foreign department. Following the departure of head coach Sergio Lubera before the season, FC Goa's foreign squad has had a complete revamp with Edu Bedia being the only player who has been retained from the foreign department from last season's league winning team. Other foreign players include Ivan Gonzalez, Igor Angulo, Jorge Ortiz Mendoza, James Jonachi and Alberto Nogueira. Now, talking about Ivan Gonzalez and James Jonachi, they will be playing as the center backs for the club in the playing 11. And with uh, uh, with the strike with their star striker Ferran Corominas sleeving the squad this season, the uh, striking department will be managed by Igor Angulo and the sole responsibility of the striking department will be in the hands of Angulo. Now, looking at some of the stats of Igor, uh, he has played from the third three three forty five matches played in his career. He has scored one forty seven goals and has got thirty assists to his name. Uh, Alberto Nogueira will be most likely be playing as a centre attacking mid, and Jorge Ortiz Mendoza most likely will be playing as a sub, but he can be used in the squad instead of Alberto Nogueira and making Branton in the cent in a centre attacking mid position. FC Goa has got a lot of in talented Indian players especially uh, the players like Ishan Pandita, Xavier Gama, Chote uh, and Redim Tlang with minimo uh, following and uh, Ishan Pandita as we all know is one of was one of the few players who was playing outside the country he was playing for a spanish third division club for almost 3 uh, years now he has now that he has returned to india and that to fc goa he is going to be a really interesting prospect to have looks uh, have looks on for this season now uh, talking about sevi gama sevi gama has been in the fc goa setup now for a long period of time and sevi gama is going to be uh, play is going to play a more crucial role this time around in the isl and for fc goa and uh, talking about redeem redeem will be looking to uh, show his traits in a different jersey this time around and chote is going to be a very interesting prospect to have uh, eyes out for talking about the strengths of fc goa one of their main strengths is that five out of six of their foreign players are spanish and are perfectly fit and well suited for un ferrando's playing style Another strength for of FC Goa is that they have a lot of impressive young talents like Ishan Pandita, Xavier Gama, Marcan Chote, Redin Tlang and a lot more. One of the other strengths is that they have some some of the experienced Indian players like Brandon Fernandez who can play a key role in their season this time. Analyzing the weakness of FC Goa is that they have a lack of established left back that is they don't have an experienced left back uh, they have a left back like uh, Xavier Gama but he's too young to be starting all the matches and sometimes will get pressurized in important matches as they are, they are even playing in the Asian Champions League now another one is that they have no experienced indian striker Of course Ishan Pandita is a striker who has played in the Spanish third division but he is not well fit he is not very fully recognized with the Indian conditions and we'll, we don't know how he will cope up with the Indian conditions then one of the other weaknesses is that they have only six they have only signed six foreigners instead of seven which will shift responsibilities to the indian contingent and into the indian squad and also this might prove wrong, or this this strategy might prove wrong because all other isl clubs have signed seven players so when talking about their probable 11 their probable playing 11 Uh, head coach Juan Ferrando is mostly li most likely to play a 4-2-3-1 formation in which Navas will be starting as their goalkeeper and then Seriton, Donachi, Gonzalez and Gama will be there will be their defensive units with uh, James Donachi and Ivan Gonzalez uh, re being responsible for the center back department then coming to the defensive midfielders Lenny and Edubedia will be playing as a defensive midfielders just above the defensive unit and then uh, Redim Tlang Alberto Nogueira and Brandon Fernandez will be playing up front and Igor Angulo will be the lonely striker 
so that's it for this video do like share and subscribe to the channel and also hit that bell icon for never missing a notification from us and also comment below if you want to see a detailed player analysis video of the foreign players and maybe a comparison between this season's fc goa and last season's fc goa thanks for watching bye